Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today I'm going to take a look at my Altoid Tins stove collection. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so I thought I'd just do a video on the, the my Altoid Tin stoves that I've made. I've I have separate videos for all of my Altoid Tin stoves, and I'll put links to those in the description. But I thought I'd just kind of summarize uh, what I did do, and I actually I did do make some upgrades. As you can see, uh, they're painted; they're not that Altoid anymore. And I found some flame stickers, so I thought I'd just kind of you know hot rod them up or customize them a little bit, make them look nicer. So. And uh, so anyway, I'll just kind of cover the three I made. This is the first one I got, which is a wood, which is a wood stove. And uh, like I say, these I have videos on how these are all made, and you can look at those if you're interested. But just just as quick overview, of the three I've type I've made. And uh, in this one, this is the one that uses the uh, the Chicago bolts, and it's got a grate in there for airflow. And then you just um, Screw your Chicago bolts in. It's kind of a little wood stove. Uh, actually, I did carry this one for a while in my um, uh, backpack, just just for uh, in case you needed to start a little fire. And mostly, I took it for in the winter time when I'm out skiing and the heavy snow, and you can't really. You know, in the cast, central Cascades in the northwest, uh, the snow can be, you know, 12 feet deep, so it's kind of hard to get down to mineral earth, as they say. <laughs> so you might set it on a rock or a, or a down tree so you can get it up out of the moisture and build yourself a little fire. But anyway, so that's, uh, that's this one here. Not much to it. It's pretty easy to make. And uh, it's kind of a cool little stove, just one of my collections. The next one... I made. I got the idea from Waypoint Survival, and uh, in fact, this one's a dual. This is kind of a bonus. Here's an Altoid tin, mini Altoid tin uh, alcohol burner, and again, I have I have a video on this. And if you want to interested, uh, go down and look in the description. I'll have a link. But this works really nice, and it's small enough it fits into this one to make a whole kit out of it, which is really cool. So there's the burner. There's the grate, which you do need. It improves the burn on the on this stove a lot. And this is what's cool. You make your uh, put the grate back in. You make your uh, the pot holder. I used a, a dollar store cookie sheet and just cut this out and uh, so this goes here. And I have all the dimensions for this too in the video, the build video on this stove. So if you're interested, I did all the hard work for you. I had to figure out all the, get all the dimensions and sizes and stuff. So these just slot together kind of like a lot of the foldable wood stoves. Oops, I guess if I see my staying in frame on this. There we go. And then this one slides in here. And there you go. And I actually did a burn test on this one in, in the video, if you're curious, but it does work. So there's there's the little stove there. Fits fits very nicely. And then you can, uh, if you want to just use alcohol, just load this guy up. And, uh, oops, he'll drop in there. There you go. Get to fill around with it a bit. There we go. That'll fit in there. Oops. So you can use it as a alcohol or a wood stove, which is kind of neat. And last, the one I just recently did, and I this this is these two I got from from other YouTubers, but uh, this one I came up on my own. I do have an original thought now and again. But anyway, this one is a uh, combination wood stove, or no, it's not a wood stove. This is purely for alcohol and the way that works and again this here's the uh, burner for this stove and I used a uh, one of the round uh, cosmetic tin and I made a an alcohol burner out of that and again got a video on this if you're interested and then this was another uh, the pot stand is another one using the Chicago bolts 
So you can just uh, put this in here. Yeah, what's really nice is uh, it all everything fits together, small and compact. In fact, I'm going to add this stove to um, a cook kit I made up out of uh, one of the uh, rectangular mess tin, aluminum mess tins, or uh, lunch boxes. They're also called. And again, I have a video on that. <laughs> so, all your video needs are here at Planet Side Agent. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, they just screw in like this. And there you go. Then you can put your alcohol stove in here. And there you go. And I did burn tests on this one too, if you're interested. And uh, you can go, or if you don't, if you do have a mini Altoid tin around, or you just want to use one of those instead of buying the, the little round tins, it will work in here also. So it'll, it'll fit in there and, and work. So all kinds of options. But they're just kind of fun little projects. Oh, and since I have a lot of Altoid tins, my wife goes through these like crazy. And I do them for all, all sorts of things. Um, and I, and when I bought these, uh, tins, they came in like a six pack. So, uh, I said, well, I got, and then of course I have all the, I had to buy these in bulk to get a price break on them, on the, on the bolts and nuts I used to make these stoves. So I got a lot of this stuff laying around. I said, well, I got all these things. I'll just make more stoves and then I'll probably just, you know, uh, give these away eventually. So yeah, just, uh, so I just made, uh, five more for uh, whatever and of course you know these came in a sheet so I had everything I needed paint <laughs> so I just made a whole bunch of them I guess if I needed the money I guess I could start an Etsy store and crank these things out but uh, anyway I'm, I'm I'm retired I don't work anymore <laughs> just just for fun projects I don't do do it for money luckily thank goodness I can do that and I really uh, grateful that I have that and I hope that all of you will eventually be able to uh, retire but uh, that's another story so um, anyway that's uh, my uh, collection of uh, Altoid tin stoves and I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.